This is CNN. At CNN in Hong Kong, I'm Lian Peng. And I'm Stan Grant. You're watching News Biz today. UN weapons inspectors say they see a change in attitude by Iraqi officials after two days of talks in Baghdad. Chief UN weapons inspectors managed to rally in the final month of the previous lunar year, the year of the horse, after a bout of selling starting last July. So will the year of the goat bring further good fortune for mainland's share markets? For his thoughts, we turn to Philip Chan, research director at Shen Win Wong Guo Research. Philip, thanks very much for your time. Let's look first of all at those shares in China that are open to foreign investors. I was looking at some numbers just the other day which showed that the uh, down about 16% last year overall. What sort of incentive is there for foreigners to get involved in the market? Yeah. They, uh, you know, the, the foreigners can only buy um, B mm. shares in, in China and also um, indirectly through the H shares yeah. in, in Hong Kong. Um, there is incentive because the, there, there have been a lot of... Um, New listings on the H share market. There have been no B share listings, um, and there are there are slated to be quite a number of H share listings this year. Um, the, this latest one, uh, Sinotrans, which you mentioned this yeah. morning, um, is a, is a quite a big H share, um, and we had China Telecom, you know, um, be, before the end of uh, last year. W when we look at some of the listings, some of them were pretty heavily discounted to attract um, investors, and some yeah. of them, of course, fell below the listing price soon afterwards. Yeah. Again, what is the performance when you look at those sorts of companies, and also for some of, as you mentioned, some we can expect later on this year as well? Well, uh, f if, you look, if you look back last year, most of the, the eight share listings um, were uh, small caps, right? And um, they, the, most of them are below IPO price. Um, you know, unfortunately, it's a, it's a very mixed, when it comes to Chinese stocks, I mean, uh, it's very mixed um, in the performance. I think, you know, you could say that yeah. for... Uh, most classes of shares. Um, it really depends on the market conditions at the time that they list. So you hear a lot about the, this burgeoning Chinese economy and certainly when you look at the numbers, the exporting numbers, importing numbers, the, the growth figures, it would bear that out. Um, yeah. Why do we see then this disconnect between the performance of companies in the stock market and the overall performance of the economy? Because the, uh, you've got a wide discrepancy in the, the, uh, the quality of the listings. Uh, you know, you've got, you've got large listings uh, for instance, like China Telecom like late last year and this Sinotrans issue now, um, these, are, these would be you know, uh, deemed as pretty good quality. But then you, you had a lot of uh, small caps last year, um, which were um, sort of semi-private enterprises. Mm. Um, and you know, there's big variation in quality of these companies. Of course, a couple of things we're going to be seeing this year is the beginning of some reforms that we saw towards the second half of last year and also a new leadership regime taking hold. What impact yes. will those things have on the market? They, they already had uh, some, some positive impact on the markets uh, in just ahead of the Chinese New Year. Um, the, the, you, you probably noticed on the charts the Asia markets uh, uh, raised, r rose quite a lot towards the end of the year. Um, one, one thing uh, is, uh, which is being um, rumoured is that uh, some state, o um, the state pension funds will be coming in, mm -hmm. uh, sorry, the state insurance companies will be coming in to the market. That's what helped the market before the Chinese New Year. Um, however, the, the big overhang is the state-owned shares and how, yeah. you know, the, how, they how, how quickly they divest. Yes. I mean, the thing is, the, you know, I, I think it's unlikely they're going to broach this topic um, in the first half of this year um, because they, you know, the, the, um, the, the powers that be want, uh, you know, buoyant markets, I yeah. think. Um, and also they haven't sorted out the problems to, to actually do, uh, to do the job. Philip, we'll have to leave there. I do thank okay. you for your time and your thoughts on that today. Philip Chan there, he's research director at Shen Win Yong Wong Guo Research. We're going to take a short break now. When we return, we'll see how credit card shams are running rampant in Indonesia. We'll check with the World Weather Centre for a forecast near you. And world number one tennis champion Serena Williams is on target for her lofty goal for the year. That is all coming up.